in the defensive spawn here. It looks like Spike not actually going to go down yet because Mixwell's made his way into Hooker. He's going to deny that right now, but Flash will find Pith with the classic. Now Mixwell going to try and make something work here. 2v3 retake situation here for G2. Yeah, the teammates not very healthy either. Very low is the Sova. Maxic is just going to wait here on site. Should be able to tag one, but Mixwell is oh. even going to first. should never have gotten that kill. And he just taps the spike, but unfortunately gets hit through the smoke. Razorcone doing enough here to give Apexis a round lead. And very much a needed round lead as well. I like the, the sheer amount of aggression on the pistol, just pushing straight through Hookah. Okay, they didn't get the spike down immediately, but a decent amount of patience from them to recognize they were being Spotted from multiple angles. If they had tried to plant that willy nilly and just been caught out, then that might have been an easy round for G2. But decent work from Apexis and Razor Cone, especially just staying alive and recognizing where that bomb was planted uh, and getting the shots through the smoke. Yeah, and I mean, it, you can argue the pistol round on attack is is the the bigger one to win as well. Uh, again, just because of the way the economy plays out, uh, it's it's always interesting to see. And now we're gonna have. We have a push from Apexis towards A. We've got a 2-2 two -two across Short and Showers. Mixwell got himself into the position with a Shorty. Will they clear this? There we are. Going to clear it. But Mixwell's going to find one. Flash is there to trade out with the Bulldog, though. Negating some of that threat. But now Pith's going to try and take contact. <laughs> going for the jumping classic. Flash will find that one with the Bulldog as well. David all the way up in heaven. He's got himself a little scope to look over A site, but... We're going to see now the read on this is perfect from Apex. There's no push coming out on B. They know with the picks they've already got now. and should have themselves an entry for free. Razor just going to jump up and actually David nearly catching something there. Not going to find anything, but fully expecting Spike to go down here. Difficult retake 2v4 for G2. Let's see if they can make anything work. Yeah, going to walk right into the SMG of Tardu, but Ardis says, I don't give a damn what weapon you've got. I'm just going to be able to push in. Razor Cone at least gets the trade, and it's just going to be David P on his own. He doesn't fancy any of this. Did have the Marshal, so he's just going to retreat and probably save that one. <laughs> Important to see a couple of just confidence kills, I feel, for Apexis. I mean, I know it's an eco round, but a player like Flash, who struggled in the previous game, he went 7-15 yeah. and 15 in both games, so 14-30 and 30 overall. He's not going to have any confidence coming into this whatsoever, but just picking up a couple of frags early on at least will allow him to gain somewhat amount of momentum and belief in himself that he can actually get kills in these top tier lobbies. Um, for Apexes though, a 2-0 leader, maybe an exit frag for David P. There's one. Can he find a second? He does get the reload, looks to the right, and that oh. is going to be damage done. Maybe get three. No, he connects with his armor. Can't quite do it onto Razor Cone, uh, but David P putting on a shot. Yeah, and uh, I mean, Mixwell got the MVP, but special shout out to David. He he looked really impressive throughout the entire series for me. Again, making plays on Sage, and, and I mean, he was making it look easy as well. That flank on Haven just keeps playing back in my head, Dan. That was uh, a highlight of that first series from G2. I mean, especially because he's a Sage, right? And he just had that yeah, yeah, exactly. The expectation Sorry. factor is, is also to be considered. Well, now the first rifle round available for G2 then. Of course, Apexis oh, will have you... a couple of SMGs, but taking a look at the Sova Dart meant that he was vulnerable to be shot through the smoke. Max will at least get the trade onto Pat, and we're in a four versus four, as Ardis just scouts with a little bit more information <laughs> with the Sova. I'm four. not I'm not entirely sure why he let it ping him there. Like, he looked at the recon bolt. He had a chance to destroy it. Uh, that's sloppy there from Apexis to lose one in that but, I mean, none, nice setup nonetheless. We are going to see the push coming out onto B here. Mixwell's actually going to lose his life along outside the TP. That's going to give Apex his control of the site here. David inside elbow. Cage will go down and a tripwire as well. But, you see, the bait has been put down. The rotation comes out. And this is what I love about Bind. Sell the fake. Both players coming over there. Now they're in a position. A 2v3 retake. Pith is on short. There you go. Tardu finds him. He's going to leave David the last member again. Certainly doable from David, though. Finds the first. Don't think he spotted the second member on default. And it's a one versus two. They're both a healthy total at the moment. Does have his own heals in two seconds. So if he does get tagged down from this second one, will he spot the player on short or default? He's looking lamps at the moment, yeah. but doesn't see Flash just waiting for him on the default spot. 
And that's going to be 3 0 now to Apexis, and that's going to send G2's economy right back down into the ground. And that's exactly what Apexis needed. This is also what happened previously for G2 when they went up against Fabricant. They weren't able to get that third round on the board, found themselves going four down before they then chained together six rounds in a row on Bind. And maybe G2 just haven't been able to find that aggression that they once found on the defensive side, just being able to push down C long, uh, B long. Sorry, I know they got one frag there, but they weren't able to follow up and get yeah. multiple. Like I was saying, Dan, just to come back to that, it was really the that was really weird. I don't know if that was just a communication issue there, but um, obviously Bakix turned around to face the recon bolt, and then he kind of paused for a second, and it pinged him, and obviously the smoke came down the bottom of B long. It's a free kill there. Uh, again, you said he turned his back, and I, I didn't quite understand that. Maybe that was a calm issue there, but uh, David actually going to find Maxic for free. Maxic not checking. Cubby Pith going to find Bakix as well. Razor will trade one out here. But looking like we're going to get some action again on the A-side. Pith finding Tardu with the Sheriff headshot as well. Hunter Fury coming out. Does get one tag. Pat will follow up with the Ghost and Razor will fall. How have they managed to achieve this, G2? Flash finds two, but Pith will be there to get the trade and get the first round for Great G2. Turnaround. Sloppiness from Apexis there. Yeah. Not checking the cubby. And uh, that really just set up the round for G2, getting that opening pick, getting that information. Um, Apex is just not looking good enough, in my opinion, in that particular round, but they can shrug it off. They're still 3-1 up, but this certainly will allow G2 well, back into things. I was going to say, dare I say it, they've hit their, their three-round quota. Are we going to see this turn around now, Dan? Well, that's the uh, worry, isn't the it? The three rounds is the most they've got on the board so far in any of their maps, but uh, hopefully not. Hopefully we don't get a stomp for the rest of the game. Well... You say, hopefully, G2 fans say, well, actually, we wouldn't mind seeing a little bit of a stomp and seeing what <laughs> G2 have to offer. Artis will just take down the boom bot and he's going to retreat out of Hookah here because he'll get the information. There is going to be several members pushing up short and they only have stingers to work with. Their economy was set right back down because of G2 winning that round, which is why it was so detrimental that Apex is did struggle. David P gets the opener. G2 oh. Artis as well. I mean, Flash and Razor Cone just walked right into his bullets. Maybe Basie could do something. No, he can't. That's going to be 3-2 in G2. Just cleaning up that round as they rightly should. And now money will be really, really tight for Apexis. Yeah. I mean, again, though, David finding first blood on B long to open that up. And again, it kind of forces the push out of Apexis. At that point, you know, I mean, Ardis is there in hooker taking contact. He only spots one on the Owl drone. He only saw... Maxic on the Owl drone, obviously tagged him up as well, but again, pushing in to get that, and unfortunately, the line up for him picks up a double kill. But David, again, just finding the first blood completely unopposed. An interesting force up there from Apexis, to be honest. They've left themselves in a pretty tricky spot with their economy, and now G2 should be able to take advantage of this. Pith is going to get enough information, and David was there as well. Just easy pickings for them at this point. And the remaining players from Apexis are just going to retreat. It's going to be Tardu left on his own. We had the information. We had the interview from him where he said they're not going to be scared of anyone, but maybe he should be scared of G2. But he finds one, can't get the second. 3-3, three, three, G2 right back into things now. But Apexis can get a full rifle by. They didn't really manage their economy smartly, in my opinion, at the start of this game. So I'd like to see them do a little bit better moving forward. Yeah. We love those juicy eco frags, but T2 cleaning it up. No sweat at all. Now, see the operator back in the hands of Mixwell. See, uh, maybe it looks like Ardis is going to look for a recon play out of Hooker here. Let me see something a little bit different from G2. Obviously, Apex is now on a buy round, so I'm not expecting him to go all out here. But again, just this early information here could be an opening. For G2, so they look to punish it. Now Arda sends the Aldro now. He's going to have Vision on Razor. And you can see Razor pull all the way back to the spawn side. Now Maxic going to swing out. Are we going to see Apexis collapse onto B here? Ardis has already rotated back through defensive spawn now. And that puts four G2 members on A. You can see the spike is in market right now. And it looks like... Funnily enough, Apex is uh, pulling back this direction, Dan. In Cypher, we trust. When b site is trapped up like that and you've got cameras, it almost works out as two people being on that site. And it looks like Apexis are going to go right into this stack from G2. 
One member in showers. The rest going to be on short. At least they get the first onto Ardis. The res comes out onto Basie as well. So now they can push onto this A site. Tanu also taking down Pat. But here comes Mixwell with the op. Gets the first, does get the information to the team, and he can move his way into Lamp. Smokes are up. One goes up over Truck. Showstopper takes down David P. And Tardu is there to clean up Mixwell as well. A lot better from Apexes here. And just one remaining player is going to be Pith for G2. But in a one versus four, I'm not particularly hopeful for G2's chances. And maybe Pith just needs to think about trying to damage in the economy a little bit here with a couple of exit frags. Yeah, again, at this point, damage the economy. So that's all you can really do in this situation. Oh, okay, as I say that, Tardu gets caught with a spike cam in his oh. hand. And Pith will find two now. 1v2 situation. Heim, not on his side, but could be winnable here, Dan. Oh, well, no, yeah, he had to hold it. He had to at least try and get it halfway he, before yeah. he came off it. If he could have um, got halfway, maybe gets the first pick. But again, I mean, Backix was 9 HP. I think uh, Razor was down to about half. So there was definitely a chance there. But the Blade Storm negating the defuse. Well, at least for Apexis, they're back on track and they're not going to allow the six rounds in a row for G2 like we saw against Fabricant. G2 still plenty of money to work with. Their economy pretty healthy at this point. And the fact that Pith was able to do so much damage on the opposite side is just going to be good news for them. We'll see whether they focus on the B site this time, considering the A site push was their last one. And we see so many teams just flipping there and there between trying to be unpredictable, but Bakix gets the opener onto Pith elsewhere. And the op picks are so important, not just on this map, but in general. Pat gets the second onto Tardu, and now means he can push onto the site and give that information to the rest of the team. Are we going to see anything happen from short here? Flash doesn't have any flashes because he's playing as a brimstone, but Pat is going to be there waiting. Will he get this sense of danger here and maybe spray through the smoke? He relays the smoke david will res pit and the spray down comes through but can't find anything max will actually get the opener will come out and the spike will go down here yeah default execute here with the sage wall triple brim sky smokes max egg planting just in front of the truck here are just trying to negate some with one on one shock dart actually you now he's gonna put the recon into lamps Gonna have information he heard. Both of them shoot there, so he knows there's two stacked up here. Shock Dart, gonna do a lot of damage to Razor, but he's still gonna shut him down with the Phantom. Maxic still holding strong on the outside. Razor will find a second, and so will Maxic. Good execute there coming out from Apexus. Yeah, just very patient on short, and maybe using the Sky Smokes of G2 against them. Waiting patiently in them, executing themselves when the time was right, and it was just important that the first player out of smoke had to face Lamps. It's always a 50-50. Is someone going to be in lamps? Is someone going to be on the brown boxes? On this occasion, it worked out for them. And we can see the money still decent for G2. They've got one more buy in them. Whoever loses this round could find themselves in a pretty sticky situation for another buy. So quite an important round in the grand scheme of this first half. Well, and there's Ardis. It seems to be an op pick at the start of every round at the moment. Everyone facing each other. Everyone trying to go for those ego challenges. But it's G2 who come away the better in this particular occasion. Yeah, and again, it, that first blood, the value, uh, I guess, of getting first blood, especially on defense, is so huge. So, again, if we're going to see this double operator set up, come out from Ardis and Mixwell, fairly deadly. And again, A site, you know, you you can stack three towards B if you, if you have an operator playing A, uh, especially if you're going to have a player like Mixwell. And actually, he's got a phantom in hand this time around, but... Uh, the operator's so strong for holding down bind on A. You can see Ardis now actually rotating over towards A side. Dave, we're going to find Razor outside at the edge of market and then pull all the way back. Maxic going to try and peek him here. Doesn't catch him on the way back in there. David actually goes but for a reach out outside. Not converting any of that damage, though. Both players will survive. But again, the aggression defensively from G2 just proving effective. Love it. That... Love it. Pushing up on short outside of Hooker as soon as they recognized no one was there and then getting into a dangerous angle, which meant it was very difficult for Apexis to rotate round. David catches Tardu trying to sneak up long as well. Just going to be two left at this point. At least Bakix will get one. But I don't think it's going to be enough to try and win the round. Instead, it's going to be trying to save at this point. Two players for Apexis remain and Max just has to be 
on damage control at this point. Next well tries to spot anyone outside short. No one's there, but it doesn't look like G2 want to lose any guns either. As I said, the economy wasn't great on both sides, so losing guns would not be a good idea right now. No, it wouldn't. And uh, I mean, so far so good for Apexis. Again, they've got five rounds on the board on attack. And again, if we're to believe, obviously, attack inside is the harder. We can see here the way the land lies. Again, I mean, just make the comparison here. Look at the work David is putting in. Uh, it's it's actually crazy to see him being this aggressive and, and it paying off for him so many times, just completely unpunished. And again, uh, his ability to peel back and not lose his life in that previous round, get back into a hook, it doesn't give Apex this an opportunity to push into B. Especially uh, when you consider the fact that G2 are a, a four looking for a fifth and David is kind of filling right now and like maybe it's kind of even like a tryout it feels and he's just like, you know what, I'm a sage but I'm going to get a yeah. I'm going to get the kills, I'm going to show you guys what I'm made of. But it could have gone the other way, he could have found himself not finding those kills. Oh, oh. As I say that, David gets yet another and Apex is down to just three members. Maxic is just going to jump out of window here and that's not going to work out for him. But at least Razor Cone and Bakix are there to get kills of their own. Make this at least somewhat doable in a two versus three, Here. but it's not going to be easy. No, it's not. And well, orbital strike will just try and push him and force him out of sight, and forces him right into the bullets of Pith. And yeah. I think you're right. A economy res, a very important, something that not enough sages do at lower rank to Valorant. That's for sure. Just keeping everything healthy going into these final two rounds for G2. They'll want to try and make this a 7-5. And they won't want to go down the same avenue of losing bind in their opening map of the series like they did against Fabricant. 15-8 for David B. I mean, he doesn't look like he's a support player, really, does he? No. No. And dare I say it, we might be looking at the... Uh... The uh, player to round out this G2 roster, and I mean, he's absolutely demonstrating he's worthy of it today. He's had a fantastic performance so far. Again, if you can rely on your Sage to just keep putting in work like that, again, the expectation, it's a bit of a stigma for Sage players, but he's definitely uh, breaking the trend. Well, Apex is here. Just having a little scout around A site. Two players down, the trade happened, but Ardis is now going to get a little bit of recon on. See if anyone is in showers, and then once that information has been provided, perhaps that will cause for even further of a heavy rotate. It's just the Cypher on the side of G2 at B at the moment. But pings have come round. I think they've definitely heard that there are some footsteps here at short. Can Apex just safely get onto this site. Smoke's come down as well as a cyber cage as well, but Mitzwell, that's the ability you have as yeah. a jet. You get the kill, you dash away, and you've given the information to your team. Tardu has managed to work his way into lamps at the very least. There's only three of them remaining as Mixwell gets yet another onto Flash, and now surely two versus four. This is no way doable as David just like, makes things go from bad to worse. Razor Cone at least will get one. And unless he pulls out something magical here, this is going to be the round 2G2, 6-5. And Apex is just really struggling to break past the sheer wall of Mixwell at the moment. Yeah, and I mean, if they can play for the 6-6 here, it's, it's again, economy-wise, it's going to be very difficult for them. You can see now two forcing up the Bulldogs. There's one Phantom in the hands of the Jet. On Apexis, and then two Spectres for Flash and Razor. So it, it's a tall order. We have a we have an operator on Ardis. Mixwell actually going back to the Phantom again, but again, just just seeing Mixwell use that kind of self sustain again, seeing it here, you can go for that peak. It, it, it's so hard to punish. Let's get to see a full push come out here. Razor going to find Pat with the Showstopper. First blood here, and actually. Getting all the way into defensive spawn here. Going to find Pith on a rotation towards heaven. Mixwell going to catch the wall up here. He's going to find two from that position. Flash and Maxic fall. That's huge from Mixwell. It's all going to come down to Basics and Tardu, who are going to be somewhat behind here. Razor Cone gets one with the showstopper onto Mixwell. And now we can see yet another wall from David. And that oh, is not fun. the wall that he wanted. <laughs> he makes it. He splits it himself. But at least he gets the one onto basics. One versus two now at this point. We'll tap it yet again to get a little bit of information. There's one player shower sides. Cyber Cage comes up for defense. 
And Razor Cone should be able to push through, but he does match him. David P almost did the job, but thankfully Razor Cone was there to save the day as we get 6-6 six, six after the first half. And Apex is certainly making a game of this. Yeah, I mean, uh, again, we only had the screenshots to go off. We didn't get a chance to watch the other games, but Apex is definitely not, uh, I guess, lying down for this series. It's uh, looking like they want to... I mean, they've already broken the three-round curse, right, Dan? They've, they've got six on the board on attack, and that's a tall order against a, a, a warmed G2. Well, G2 certainly did struggle on the attacking side of Bind in their previous series against Fabricant, so we'll see what they have to offer here. Pistol round, as always, very important, because usually guarantees you at least two rounds. Not, not quite the same as Counter-Strike, where it would usually guarantee you three, because the third round is very different in Valorant. Three members going to be heading towards oh, Hooker on both sides, and Shot Dot does a little bit of damage. Mixwell and Pat can then clean up Basics and Flash. And there's just one remaining player in Hooker it is going to be Max, and unfortunately his vision has been very much taken away from him. Five versus one. Razor Cohen, this is your chance to step up? No, didn't think so. Seven, six. Mixwell hunted, absolutely hunted Max X through Hooker there, with the Cloud Burst coming down, covering the jump up onto the box. I think Maxic thought like he had him stuck in the slow orb there as well, but uh, G2 just absolutely punishing that hooker uh, push from Apexis. And again, the shock dart just to open things up there, I, I feel like that did damage, some serious damage to all three players that peaked out there. Well, G2 with the initial pistol victory will give them the jolly old reward of getting a couple of smgs but it's going to be aggression from apexes down middle this time at least they get the first razor cone taking down ardis and maybe that's going to be the command now for g2 to push straight onto the b side because everyone is stacked over at a it's going to be a free plant it means that after plants can be thought about and considered with plenty of time to do so and then there is a cheeky pith waiting around at a as well and <laughs> unfortunately for apexes they just haven't been able to catch more than one i like the idea in a second round, just trying to do something a little bit different. But G2 were wise to it. You yeah, actually see the teleplay come out from Apexus here. Coming round, Pat gonna find Maxic coming to Hooker. Gonna find two, actually three! That's fantastic from... Wow! Pat actually just shut that down. Wow. I mean, when they've got no armor and pistols, it always looks a little bit easier than it should. But we've seen it go wrong so that many times. That looks good, though. That it, looks I mean, good. <laughs> it's a skill in its own, really, not to not to choke when you're getting pushed by uh, people with little weaponry and little armor. But now this is where it gets interesting for G2. Can they have the same sort of effect? Or are Apexes with a buy going to be able to stop any sort of push? But slows come out from David P just to ensure that no one can push down long here so they can get a little bit closer that's always the worry when you've got a couple of smgs that they're going to take advantage oh, of any no. lengthy battles but there's so many drones there tardo at least oh, takes down david p mixwell gets the second as artist also follows up onto tardo and g2 have the player advantage going onto the site here could be sprayed through smoke pat gets one onto razor cone and mixwell just wants some of this he faces one he's going to face the second as well he has no fear whatsoever and quite rightly so. 9-6 now for G2. I absolutely love that. The, the preemptive slow orb there to follow up on the owl drone, just in case it got the tag. And again, Tardu did, you know, did fantastically to get that first kill. But again, that, that setup from G2 there is just... I mean, it, it's to punish any sort of aggression on this B long. And you can see how much it paid off for them there. Well, the amount of times on a, a round where one team will buy up and get the rifles, the other team's still on SMGs. You, you try and take those long fights, right? You want those battles. You want to be able to look down long and not be challenged by SMGs, but instead, because the slows came out, the smokes came out, you are able to push up and get close enough. Well, Apex is on a weak buy again, and they have stacked a site, but unfortunately, the 50-50 flip has not worked in their favor. Spike goes down, and now we'll see the quick rotate from all five of them. <laughs> really yeah, unfortunate. Yeah. It yeah, just happens, though. <laughs> Two for Maxic. Pith comes back there with three, with two of his own, and actually Basics has been able to take down Pith, and they've done pretty well there. A lot of facing from the G2 squad, and if they could pick up those rifles, maybe this is doable. The wall comes out from David P to at least delay them ever so slightly. 
Razor Cone has been able to find a Phantom to work with. Does get smoked off here, and he can push out together. The grenade just to maybe strike a little bit of fear into the eyes, but there's Mixwell waiting. Gets the first basics, gets the reply. He's very weak yet. David P is nowhere to be seen, but there's not going to be time. He doesn't have to worry about it too much. It was definitely uh, Ooh, is he gonna... a little bit of a flaky round for G2. I don't think they needed to face that much when Apexes were pushing through spawn, but either way, they get the 10th on the board. And Apex did a little bit of damage to the economy. Yeah, I mean, you got to expect G2's uh, damage limitation to be a bit better there, but I don't think it's going to hurt the economy in the long run. They're still going to be coming out of this on top. And again, you know, you could argue that now this is going to be a buy round for Apexis, so keeping the gun isn't a huge factor. There we see the Maxic double Sheriff and then the uh, return from Pith, but. See basics now. Gonna go for a long peek on B. Oh, we missed that. He just legged him. David gonna <laughs> escape by a hair. The Hunter's Fury gonna come out from Ardis now. Did get the tag with the Owl Drone. Does follow up once there. Doesn't land the second with the Hunter's Fury though. Now we're gonna see Mixwell pop the Blade Storm. He's gonna look in to get aggressive here. Just full force for G2 here. Gonna find Maxic on site. Turns around and finds basics as well in glass. This is, oh no, Mixwell, you can't do it to them. He's gonna find the third onto Flash as well. And he's gonna keep searching. I think he wants this ace. He's gonna push in, we'll find the fourth. <laughs> Four for Mixwell, there's a Cypher remaining. And if I'm Mixwell here, I'm saying, let me go hunting boys. Give me just, that ace. Just let, let me let just me go. rub salt in the wounds of our opponents. But Cypher is out of dodge. He doesn't want anything to do with this. He is gonna be waiting in showers. And of course, Mixwell's going hunting. Go on, son. Give us the ace. He's jumping around. He wants to, to give the sound cues to his opposition just to try and make him poke out. But at this point, it's going to be G2 going 11-6 up. And I think they are very confident now in this second series. And any worries we had about them on bind have been quickly answered. As here comes Mix out for the ace. There and there it go. is. I mean, that's beautiful play with the jet. And that's why he is playing jet as well. His aim is impeccable. His movement is incredible. And 11 6 now to G2. I mean, <laughs> what can you do? When somebody's hitting shots with the Blade Storm like that, again, to turn around and get basics on glass there as well it was just fantastic. Let's see, just watch this again. First base come out on Maxic. Again, the operator shot comes out from basics. Mixwell turns around and just absolutely destroys him. Flash again, whiffing his spray a little bit there. The fantastic entry from Mixwell. I mean, it shouldn't have been able to happen realistically. Basics has missed an op shot there. Yeah. Probably yeah. should have connected and then flash again. Yeah, as you say, he uh, he choked a little bit, but at least he's made up for it at the start of this round. Flash and Maxit getting the opening two, as Apexis at least have the player advantage going into this one. But G2 have managed to find their way onto site. Mixwell and Ardis will get two frags of their own. Mixwell gets another, and he is on a tear right now. So much confidence, he's oozing it. One versus one, though. Mixwell will fall to basics, but the spike is being planted elsewhere. It's going to be down on B side to David P. And if there's anyone who knows how to play after plants, I mean, David P is going to be situating himself perfectly here. And this is going to be a very difficult retake for basics. Yeah, it looks like David's actually going to go for an early peak from elbow as well here. You can see the slow went down to CT. David just caught sight of him. He's got the information now. He can peel off. He doesn't need to challenge. Basics now, obviously, he's the one has the pressure on. He's down to 39 HP. The tap comes out. David instantly peeking off that information. Again, it's just an easy one. It's just an easy win there for David. Yeah, perfectly played in the 1v1. Just shoulder peeking to get any sort of information as if he was going to be pushing from that defender side spawn and then just repositioning himself to be as unpredictable as possible. 12-6 for Apexes, even though they had a very much... A strong first half? Well, they haven't got around yet in the second half. G2 have absolutely dominated them and are looking to be going 1-0 up in the series. Man, there's not really much that you can say about Apex's play. They've just been outfragged in this second half. G2 have looked relentless going forward, haven't allowed Apexis really a chance to breathe, let alone look for any sort of pushes. But Tardo at least gets the opener onto Pat. David P gets basics elsewhere, and Tardo Ooh. gets three. Hello! Gets a Phantom as a reward. Now can look on site. Should be able to make this four. No, he doesn't need to because Razor Cone can get it for him. G2 down to just Pith in a one versus four with one player being weak, but he has an op. 
a minute and 10. So he's not going to save this. They don't need to save. They've got plenty of no. money. He's going for this one, surely. Surely. Uh, and that's it. Just to make it interesting, the 1v5. So let's see what Pit can do here again. Uh, comes out for the peak. Not going to matter too much that they lose the operator because the economy is not an issue. Uh, Apexes do put one round on the board for defense. So not get, not not getting completely rolled, if if you can say that, Dan. I mean, sure. If you want to look at it that way, um, I'll allow, I'll <laughs> I'm allow looking you for to something. Nice I'm guy. looking for something, Dan. Uh, you can be the nice guy. I'm okay with that. I'll be the bad cop, and I'll say that Apex are getting stomped here by G2. But maybe this is going to be the the momentum shift. Maybe they can start to pick up some more rounds here now and gain some confidence. I mean, it was all down to that that three K with the Cypher, and Razor Cone gets an opening too, but Ardis says, well, anything you can do, I can do better, and now he's going to push in, maybe look for a third, but the wall is there, a Pith has managed to flank round at the perfect time to take down Max, and now the two rotating players from b site are going to have to do something here. One of those being Flash, but there's the teleport, they say, we heard you rotating, and we'll head over towards that b site, no problem. Spike is going to just be faked here because he does get spotted and maybe baits out the orbital strike at the perfect time. At least Flash has taken out Ardis and made this Spy a 2v2. Still up. Uh, Spy cam's still up and actually Tardu getting a tag there. Also the two players, obviously Ardis being the first had to cancel the spike going down, but Pith now spike in hand, makes his way through the teleporter. He's, is this going to be the best bait ever? He's come through the TP. Go again. And, yep, go again. There you go, coming all the way back. Pith's gonna run to long now, pops through the TP again, and then plant on again. A site. No, do another one. Stop this madness. Or maybe he doesn't. Maybe this is. They, they've gone back to A. This is the, the perfect. <laughs> they bait. tried. They tried to read the double bait here, and Pith is actually nope. The camera's still there. Stardu gonna get the information. Shuts down the trap. Yeah. I mean, here you go. Both of them gonna come stomping through defensive spawn here. Cam's gonna go up from Pith. They're trying to take a position in elbow, but you can see them stacked up now. They just want to take this 2v1. There you go. Tardu will find the headshot with the Phantom. Uh, I mean, other than the spy cam, Piss had them chasing their own tail for a little while there. Always part of the fun of Bind, really, and that's why the teleporters just make this map uh, a good, enjoyable watch and fun to play. Maybe not so much if you're on the defensive side and someone's just <laughs> falling around with you like that, but... Apex has put a second on the board on their defensive side, making it 12-8. They'd need four more to take this to overtime. And as a reminder, we actually have proper overtime rules in place now, thanks to Riot updating the game and adding it. it means that if it does go to 12-12, then we would have both teams playing an attacking round, then a defending round, and you have to win by two rounds to win the game. Uh, I don't think that's going to go this way in this particular match. I think the G2 will close it out at some point. If not this round, then I'm sure they'll find a way to break through this temporary defensive strength of Apexes. Albeit temporary. I'm just going to look for an owl drone through hooker. He's going to spot David dropping off sight box here. Tardu with that same spy cam set up again. Not going to get any vision yet. Does actually catch David. Coming through here. There you go, Tardu. Pick up what? Two and three through the sky smoke. Looking for a fourth neural theft popped. He's got the information now. Teammate's still over in defense at this point. He's going to make it four on the round. Doesn't find the fifth though. Pat's going to shut him down. No ace for you. Actually going to find a second one through to basics. That's his third on the round. And Razor comes through with the headshot to shut that down. Finally. That was an impressive hold there from Tardu. I'm not going to lie. And that's the second or third time he's done that as well. As a Cypher, there's so much responsibility on you because you're often just holding a site alone or at least holding it the weaker site because you have the traps to work with. But this spray down was ridiculous. Of course, he got the information here and it was a very aggressive push from David P, but he kind of had to once he was tagged. And then that was just fortunate. I think the third one uh, manages just to catch him through him. Almost made it an ace. The fourth kill was pretty decent. The face was there. There was no insta challenge. That would have been one for the highlight reel as Mixwell gets the knives out and ready. And we've seen what he can do. He's already aced once this round. Is he just going to dash out of this smoke? Needs to have support from his teammates if he does. But tries to fire up blindly onto site and it's not really going to work out. But at least Pat is there to take down Flash. 
Max gets one on oh. to Pith, and now David can push in and show that same aggression. Yes. Tardu, you're not going to do the same this time. Oh. And now there's another. Mixwell cleans up the damage that was already done. Spike can go down, and this should be the last round for G2. Apex is in a two versus four, but Basics does have the knives available. Makes it a two versus three. This is doable. If he can find this kill, a couple of players just on site. And they just need to communicate, and they need to push together here. Definitely doable here. The res does come out, actually, so Pith's going to be back on his feet. Basics immediately negating that, that revive, and he goes. Showstopper oh. going to get popped. Actually, Mixwell's going to find him, but go down to the Showstopper eventually, and there you go. Ah, oh, this will go peak onto site. Shutting that one down. 13-9 for G2 on bind. 